All right, we're here at Natural Bridges. Um, gonna head down there now. Car is like up there, it just looks so nice here. I'm like the only one here, there's like no one in the parking lot. Like, I have this whole place to myself. This is insane, so. Wow. Here, just a glimpse. Morning. <clears throat> it's um, 10 o'clock, I think. And uh, just packing up, getting ready to go. I don't know where I'm heading today. I'm thinking Oregon. It's like 11 hours out of the way. I'm just gonna go check out. I'm gonna go get some food. Try and figure it out later. This is like one of the nice, nicest motels I've been in so far. So I'm doing it, I'm making the trip, I'm biting the bullet. Maybe a dumb decision, but it's total worth it decision. Driving 10 hours to see one thing and take a couple photos and then driving back. Longest stretch of driving I've done just for like a couple photos. Is it worth it? We'll find out when I get there. I'm pretty sure it will be, but yeah. 10 hours of driving for like one spot. Holy shit, look at the size of this fucking guy. That is a big mama loop. Right here. Right here, 36 years ago, 35 years ago, I can't remember the uh, exact date. <coughs> would there be a film crew? Steven Spielberg would be right here yeah, in 1984, 1985 when they were filming it, and they'd be filming the exact scene. There's a little rock with the split in it. Back over there's a little rock with the uh, spire on the top. The kids would be right there walking up the beach. Like, 
right where I'm standing. There was a film crew filming one of my most cherished childhood movies. So fucking cool. Talk on now, so audio should be a little bit better. Uh, yeah, so here's another scene in the movie when the guy drives up on the uh, when the drive when the guy drives up on like the um, on the four wheeler. He kind of comes around this rock here and then cuts across the beach. And then this movie makes it seem like he just cuts straight into the next frame when really they have to go across this like big ass parking lot. If you didn't know that, now you know. A little bit of movie magic for you. Um, yeah, so, hold on, this is the rock here. Officially in Oregon, and uh, just as expected, it's uh, raining. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a little bit more to go, and then uh, we're there. I woke up this morning really early, uh, 7 a.m., headed out on the road, and now I have a little bit more to go. I pretty much just like grabbed a motel just south of the border. Uh, as like a film buff and like just a film nerd, the Goonies Beach put like just like set the bar right here. So I'm hoping like this place can go beep and just like just raise it that a little bit more um yeah something tells me i have this whole place to myself right now No one there. No one there. Oh! Let's go. All right, we're here at Natural Bridges. Um, gonna head down there now. Car is like up there. It just looks so nice here. Whew. I'm like the only one here. There's like no one in the parking lot. Like I have this whole place to myself. This is insane. So, wow. Wow, 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 wow.
here, just a glimpse. I kind of don't know where to go, it's also raining. Um, I'm gonna put the camera away for a sec, just so I can hike a bit. Okay, worked up a good sweat, but I've made it. It was, uh, I went over around another way and got kind of lost and sketched out and uh, kind of started getting a little muddy, but Ended up finding the right trail, and holy shit, like, just, yeah, from, from now on, it's gonna be like, cinematic B-roll. I'm going to check out some other spots, Secret Beach and some, I don't know, the bridge, the big bridge, um, Thomas Creek I think it's called, is like uh, under construction so I can't really see that. I mean I drove over it but like can't park or anything so that's out of, out of the question. Um, I really only wanted to come see that. So yeah, 10 hours of driving just to see that and it was worth it. Always worth it. Ah, this place is pretty cool. Worth the drive. Yeah, that's all. Oh, we should just go on the track somewhere. Else. Alright, made it to uh, the other side of the bridge. I ended up finding, meeting these nice people from uh, Vancouver, Canada as well. Um, they were asking me where I was, how to get to this place and I like, I had no clue so I kind of went one way to look, they went another way to look and they ended up finding the right trail so met up, followed them down here and uh, yeah, super nice people. Um, but yeah, like just look at this vista. Uh, I'm huddled up under a tree right now because this rain just won't go away. I love Oregon. Oregon's actually like really pretty and beautiful, but it's way too rainy. I already want to start going back to the uh, to the sunshine, and I think I will in a little bit. But uh, yeah, very cool place. I'm gonna try and get a quick couple photos, and then I'm out of here.
I'm inside a tree right now. This is pretty cool. Redwoods just off the uh, road. And they're just here. You can just walk through them and stuff. Don't have to pay or anything. Just like, drop bitches, I was in a tree. These things are fucking huge. These things are huge. It's a pretty cool stop off. Sun's coming out now. You can see it fucking coming off the top of my hair. <laughs>